Okay, so here is the Monet slash Gaffrey water lily painting. Go over our materials. So we have a heavy texture. We have the permanent green, primary yellow, the violet, phthalo blue. So we start this painting, putting our base coat down on the panel, about three quarters of the jar base coat in there. I'm gonna mix my colors here on the palette now. Pretty much gonna be using all colors. We're just gonna start with a basic blue, get our blue foundation ready. A little bit deeper than that. I gotta make sure I get the sides and everything. Most of this will all be covered up with texture. So I'm not really worried much about, you know, how this is all painted on here because we're gonna start blending textures and everything in here. But we do wanna get it completely covered. Blurry across the top there. One of the colors we have here is our violet color. So I'm gonna blend a little bit of violet with the blue here. So when I drag it across, it just kind of feels like it blurs into the distance. I'm gonna put some straight white up here as well. So we can have some contrast of color. So we'll probably put a cluster here and a cluster here and a cluster here, and maybe a cluster here. So now that we know we're gonna put those clusters, I'm gonna take this violet blue mix, and I'm just gonna, I'm just like dragging it, soup, like I have no weight on this knife hardly, but just a little, and just dragging it across. So that way it doesn't go all the way in, and you still see some blue through it. But if it did go all the way through, I could just grab a little bit more blue. And so this right here is gonna be a cluster. We're gonna put some green in there. And we're gonna put a cluster here. And we're gonna put a cluster here. I'm only gonna work on these clusters first. So we need to make a little bit of green. We're gonna make that over here. And we're gonna mix it with the blue so it blends in really good. But I also want to get a little bit of dark green on the edge here that's not textured. So we're going to take some of the primary green, some of the blue, and a little bit of the violet and make a really dark green. So we can get some nice contrast. And you can see how this green kind of goes over it by looking at that. So it's a nice deep aqua green. Probably a little bit more of the violet and it'll darken it in a different way. I'm practicing a little bit on the palette. I'm just gonna drag this through here a little bit. Just drag it across the top. This kind of mimics what we're gonna do there, but we're gonna go heavier there. So we're mimicking that. Let's get a little bit of deep blue in there too. Now let's focus on the green that's gonna go in, in these sections. But we're gonna just like imagine there's just some texture lily. Lily. We're gonna focus on how it really works into the painting once we get it all on there. Let's get some more paint on here. lay on this blue here really heavy because this is like we're really close to us and we want to like feel the texture of what's going on. I'm going to lay this blue on, just plop it on there. And before I spread it out, I'm going to figure out where my lily pad quadrants are here. But we don't really want to do exactly center. So we can do one here. I'm just going to mark it. We're going to do one here, just midway. We're gonna do a super big one right here that's gonna lead up into that one. And we're gonna do one on the corner right here. I think that's pretty good for now. We're gonna leave these piles and we're gonna blend them in as we start going with the lily pads. 
So they're gonna make a bunch of green here for the lily pads. So we're gonna use a good chunk of the paint right now. Let's get some green in there. Some yellow. Some more violet. All right, let's start. I need to save a little bit of this for blue. So let's start making our green. And then we're gonna make this green into a really dark green that we blend over this green. So we've got pretty much all the colors in there. You can see right there how dark that is. It's very nice because it's a very nice aqua green. What's gonna be different about these lily pad areas are they're gonna be more, not realistic, but we're gonna kind of make individual lily pads, like especially here and here. This one is like a cross between what we're gonna do there. We're gonna do these in kind of like chunks. I think that's good for that area. This one, we'll figure that one out later. We're gonna put flowers and all that stuff in there. So let's focus on these big ones here. So this is where it gets kind of fun because we're gonna put big giant lily pads. So we're gonna put it in this pile right here. See that nice dollop? We do a few of those around there. We put one right here. And they're still a bit impressionistic. They're not trying to be perfect rounds or ovals. A little more yellow in there to make that green. And the reason I'm leaving this big old pile here is because we're gonna like just kind of like when it comes over to here, we're gonna just do it now. Where it just kind of just like blends all in and kind of like. I'm gonna do a smaller one right here. And then one right here. Take a little yellow and take one and just like hit it with a just a hairy yellow. So it has an accent. And again, impressionistic. Violet. Not right, right here. Get a little blue under there. That's good. A little darker blue, it's like a blue shadow. It's nice. So now, if you want to go over the edge, you can start bringing this blue over. Okay, so I'm feeling pretty good about these up here. You just kind of start looking around and say, what's missing? We're gonna blend this in in the bottom in a second, but I'm not feeling great about that spot right there. Pull a little bit of our neutral green blue here. We're just gonna drag that across. That's kind of cool, it's glowing. And you, you see you got these purple undertones, green overtones, and then blue undertones, and then darker mixed color overtones, but you still have separations of color that are not all blended. Because if it was all blended, it just wouldn't look right. This looks like chaos. This is a nice pod right here. Let's just add just a little dollop of yellow, just like a little tiny one there. That's good. But I think this section right here is interesting. But I'm gonna pull some green and drag it. Look at that, it looks like light shimmering in the water. It's really nice. So that one I just pulled in to come off the edge. But I really like how that one came in because it feels like a reflection of the light of this flower into the water here with the green and everything. That was just kind of serendipitous. Here, we just need to make this all work. I'm gonna bring some dark blue to get some deep contrast under this one right here. So this is just pretty much straight fallow blue. I'm just gonna drag it under there and see how that gave that, that contrast under there. And if you could see this here, it just feels a little raw. So I'm just gonna pull a little bit just 
on that one there. So now I'm going to fill the bottom a little bit of texture. I kind of like this. I think it's pretty much there. I'm going to do one, one more pop, pop through here. So I feel like this one here needs just a little bit of contrast and like pull through because they got a little homogenized and like textures. And I'm just going to put a little yellow in there and pull it through to give it a little bit of glow. A little yellow there. Let's put a little yellow in the water here. Perfect. A little bit of violet in the water there. I think that's it. It's not going to be this wide, bags. but here we go. Add a little bit more water, do a smaller one, one like so this there. is kind of an abstract. Right here. It's going to make this nice little dumb one right here.